Well, hello and welcome to you on what has been a really wintry evening all over the place. We've had snow particularly in this neck of the woods for most of the day and we have to be extremely grateful for the efforts of this evening's hosts in ensuring that our match here can go ahead as planned. There were reports earlier regarding potential difficulties reaching this venue and you can understand why. Let us hope that not too many have been held up and that the match can go ahead as planned. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So, with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. And we're underway. into a dangerous position. There will be a throw-in. Up towards the front line. That has put a stop to that. Could move up a gear here. He's through the middle. Benevento have a free kick. Gets up to head it! The in for the pieces! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter, and while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. And it's played forward. Balls out on the left now. Dashing forward at pace. Hoists it forward. And he just whacks it away. Promising move that, good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Good challenge, excellent challenge. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Cuts it out. Tries lifting it over. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run, he just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Gets it back. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. And it's hoisted clear. Out towards the flank. Lovely feet. Real chance to break. And the 
shot. That was such a smart exchange of passes and it took so many defenders out of play in one quick movement. Wonderful goal. Benevento take the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Played in with accuracy. Tries to locate someone up front. Benevento got their goal at the end of the first half, and it's 1-0. Forward it goes. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. And the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Benevento come in, having established that lead game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And we're off again. Benevento really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. That's been drilled forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have it's told him the to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And now the breakaway. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Nicely measured pass. Danger averted for now. Pings it out wide. Team still separated by the game's only goal. Plays it out to the wing. Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. And I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Back into the middle. Turns and goes back. And it's Mazur. Lovely bit of skill there. Time to deliver. 
Looks to clip it forward. Oh, managed to get it away. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Gorgeous control there. Going for goal! Just off target. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. to get it forward quickly. Gets it upfield. And it's played forward. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. And there's a long ball. He's got options out wide. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Well, that's where he wants it. And they win it back again. 1-0 as we head towards the end. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. He's left his man. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation. It needs to be any time now, really. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Balls loose, who's getting there? Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And time is up. But Evento, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. One goal to score at the final whistle.